Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing a nice, solid, grounded flow. So we're really going to connect into our stability and our balance in today's class. The entire class will be standing. And we're also gonna connect a little bit to the energy of our root chakra. So your root chakra is your first chakra located right at the base of your torso. And it's bright red in color and it symbolizes stability, security, and safety. So those are all things we're also gonna tap into today as we do this standing flow, really focusing on grounding, on feeling secure and on feeling safe. So just a couple of things to note as well, as we move in and out of our poses today, I invite you to find a moment of stillness as we hit our poses. Usually I would invite you to, you know, move around, do what feels good for your body as we hit something like downward dog, for example. But in today's class, we're going to hit the pose and be totally still and find our strength in that stillness. And we're just gonna jump in to start our class today. We're going to be standing. You can face the front of your mat or the long edge of your mat as I am. Just make sure your feet are right under your hips, both totally parallel to one another. Feel your bones stacking on top of each other. Spine is nice and tall. And then you're just gonna shine your palms forward and softly close your eyes. And just take a moment to connect with your breath, finding an inner focus here. Feel that flow of air coming in and out. And now without changing anything, I invite you to bring your attention to your feet. And try to notice how your feet are connecting to the floor. Notice areas of your feet that are lifted up off of your mat. Try to feel where your weight is being held in your feet. Maybe it's more towards your toes or towards your heels. Maybe you feel tension gripping through the toes or the ankle. And remembering here that we're not trying to change anything. We're just noticing what's happening naturally in our body. And so from the points of your feet that are in direct contact with the floor, Feel that there are roots growing out of your feet into the earth below you. This network of support and security. And feel in turn that this energy from the earth is traveling through those roots into your body and this energy is bright red in color. So we can feel this energy flowing up into our legs, into our hips, into our spine and arms, and reaching all the way up into your head. So we feel this deep connection to the earth. We're gonna take another five breaths with this image. And I'll also invite you to repeat the affirmation, I am safe. I am secure. You can say it mentally in your head or out loud. I am safe. I am secure. Five more breaths. finished your five breaths softly blink your eyes open we're gonna come to face the top of the mat if you weren't already and you're gonna spread your feet out wide so that they're right at the edges so they're a little bit wider than hip width distance here and then from this position almost like chair pose you're gonna send your hips back bringing your thighs almost parallel to the floor reaching the arms out right beside your ears so we're finding bear pose here starting off with a very powerful pose Feel that energy that we just imagined from the floor in our meditation flowing up into your legs to help you balance here and to help you find stability. We're pulling our belly button in towards the spine, feeling nice and long through the back. We're gonna take three more breaths here, really activating those hamstrings and glutes.
And on your last exhale, we'll just straighten the legs, fold forward here. You can keep a slight bend through your knees if you wish. And we're gonna toe heel the feet in, so they're just right underneath the hips. And now from here, you're gonna send your left leg back and that foot is gonna come to a 45 degree angle. So we're coming to pyramid pose with your right leg forward here. And you're just allowing your upper body to fold. So stretching into that front leg. Try and really wrap your left hip around so that both hips are square towards the top of your mat. Continuing to breathe deep, continuing to feel that connection to the floor with your feet. And from here, we're gonna bend the front knee, step the back foot out. So we're coming to a low lunge. You can keep your fingertips on the floor. Sorry, a runner's lunge we're at now. And now from here, you're gonna power up the core, lifting the arms up overhead. Taking a couple of breaths here. Again, feeling stable and strong, so we're trying not to fidget, trying not to make any changes or adjustments while we're here. You can even repeat your affirmation here. I am strong, or sorry, I am safe, I am secure. You can also tell yourself you're strong, there's nothing wrong with that. And from here, very gently, you're gonna lower your arms and your knee together. So we're coming to a low lunge here. And you're gonna take your arms all the way up. And then exhale, breathe the right arm behind you to grab that thigh, reaching your left arm up and back. So we're reversing this low lunge here. Continuing to breathe deep. Three more breaths. We are testing our balance a little bit here. And from here, your left arm is gonna circle all the way around to bring your hands onto the inside of your leg. And we're rotating the left leg so we're turned out towards the long edge of our mat here. And we're gonna do skandhasana so we're transferring side to side through our lunges. And you can use your hands to help you. Try to keep those feet planted as we shift. So again, we're really using that energy from the floor, that connection to the earth. And switch. Two more here. On the last two, you can lift your hands if you wish for that extra challenge, that extra test of balance. And when you've made it to the left side, you're gonna turn your hips facing the back of your mat now. And we're gonna step into our flow. So stepping into plank, inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Dog. Exhale, Downward Dog and stay. Planting those feet, planting those hands. Feel connected to the floor, to the earth underneath you. Feel nice and long through your spine. Your tailbone is reaching out behind you like the peak of a mountain here. And on your next inhale, we'll look forward, step the feet up, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, push to stand, arms come up overhead to touch. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Take one deep breath, and we're gonna repeat that on the second side. So opening your feet out, so we find bear pose. Almost like chair, hips go back, arms reach up overhead. Almost like we're bringing our body and our thighs in one line parallel to the floor. You really wanna think here of sending your tailbone out behind you. Feel that strong connection to the earth, that energy and information flowing up through your body. It's bright red in color. One more breath. On your exhale, we release forward, straighten through the legs, and we'll toe heel the feet in right under the hips. This time your right foot steps back, finding pyramid pose here. Try, try to make sure your heels are in one line, folding over that front leg. You can have a slight bend if you need in that left leg. Try to relax through your neck. We're a little bit more passive here. And we'll come to our 
runner's lunge first. So bending through that front leg, straightening through the back leg, reach energy out through your right heel behind you. And then when you're ready, we're powering up the core, lifting the arms up, finding strength and stability in our high lunge. Again, maybe repeating your affirmation, I am safe, I am secure. And just like we did on the first side, bring the arms and the knee down nice and softly. Breathe the arms back up a second time on an inhale. Exhale, left hand goes back. Right away we come into our reversed low lunge. Feel that your core is still engaged. Feel that there's energy still through your left foot connected to the floor. Again, resisting that urge to fidget. One more deep breath. And we'll circle the right arm, both hands come to the inside, opening up and skandasana side to side, using your hands at first to help, trying to keep those feet planted, really opening up the hips here. And again, over towards the right. Two more option if you'd like to lift the arms. This is one of my favorite ways to open up the hips. And again, we'll twist our hips so we're square to the front of our mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stay. Feel that energy through your hands and your feet here. Tailbone is reaching opposite direction of the crown of your head. So we're nice and long through the spine. And on your next inhale, we'll look forward, step up, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, push to stand, hands come to touch. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Taking a deep breath. And from here, we'll continue into a balancing sequence. So we're gonna start with tree pose with your right leg planted. So we're lifting the left. So first, just transfer your weight into the right leg. Lifting that left leg up either to your inner thigh or onto your calf, just not placing it on the knee. And once you feel steady with that tree pose, you can have your hands either in front of your heart or up overhead like tree branches. This is my favorite way to do this pose. Again, that image of roots underneath your feet really works here as we're literally trying to be a tree. So feel that connection, feel that energy. Of course, a little bit of wobbling is okay. It's strengthening our tiny muscles that help us balance. And from here, you'll bring your hands together in front of your heart if they were lifted. Bring your knee forward, so we're almost in like a retire here, and you're gonna grab your big toe with your two-piece fingers on your right hand and extend that leg out as we twist to the left. Now, more important here is that your spine and supporting leg are straight, so you don't have to fully straighten that left leg, but if you can find your full extension with the twist, you might feel a nice stretch through that left leg. Breathing deep, feel that core nice and strong, feel that connection to the floor. One more breath. And on your exhale, we're gonna release, and right away, take it back to warrior three. Arms are coming out to a second, so they're beside you, almost like an airplane position. Make sure that hip stays twisted down. So we're totally parallel here and we're gonna bend and straighten everything. So we're bending our supporting leg, our working leg and both of our arms in. And then on an exhale, push, extend everything again. Three more times like that. Inhale, everything bends. Exhale, push. Again, inhale. Exhale, push, really testing that balance. Inhale, last time. Exhale, push. From here, we're gonna release forward, lift that left leg up. Don't worry so much about the height here. 
Again, it's more so for balance. Your hands just wanna be coming up onto their fingertips here, a few inches in front of your foot. And we're gonna come into some calf raises. So you're gonna lift your heel all the way up, trying to find a demi point and release it back down. Feel that connection to the floor stronger than ever here, reaching through those toes as we lift. Two more, lift up, place it back down. Last one, lift it up and back down. We're gonna float the left leg down, big toes together, heels apart, chair pose. Arms are gonna come behind you this time. Breathing deep. Feel that you can still see your toes so our knees aren't too far forward. They're right over your heels. And our last balance for this side, you're going to come up into a forced arch, lifting the heels, weight right on top of your first and second toe, breathing. Even though less of our foot is in contact with the floor, we can still feel that strong connection. Two more breaths, you got this and release the heels, release the upper body forward. Feel this release in your forward fold without too much fidgeting. And let's bend the knees, roll up through the spine. Nice and tall. Take a deep breath before we go do that on the other side. So we're gonna transfer our weight now into the left leg. Right leg will lift up. Find your tree pose. Again, arms either in front of your chest or up overhead. Breathing deeply. Feel super solid in that supporting leg. Feel that connection to the floor, to the earth. And we're gonna come into our twist. So bring the arms down first, then knee comes forward grabbing a hold of that toe with your two piece fingers to extend. Again, find your twist first. And then if you have that flexibility, stretching fully through that right leg. Breathing deep, remembering your affirmation. I am safe, I am secure. One more breath and we'll release that right leg softly coming nice and steadily into warrior three. Rotate that hip down, belly pulls in. Breathing. And just like we did on the first side, we have four bends and stretches. Inhale to bend everything in. Heel comes towards your butt on that right foot. Exhale, push back to your extension. Again, inhale, bend. Exhale, push, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. One more, you got this. Inhale, bend. Exhale to push and release forward. Standing splits on the second side. Continuing to breathe. Just coming up onto your fingertips of your hands as we go through our heel raises. We have four. So one, lifting the heel as high as you can. Place it back down. Again, lift up. And back down, two more. Lift and down. Feel that you're really pushing into the floor with those toes and down. And from here, we'll release the right leg down. Big toes together, heels apart, sitting in a chair, arms by your sides, breathing. First, finding your solid chair pose, feeling your connection to the floor. We're gonna strengthen the connection into the toes. So we transfer our weight, push the floor away from you for a start. So the height of your head doesn't lift. We stay on the same plane, just the heels lift up. Weight right in between your first and second toe. So your ankles are coming in towards one another. We're not sickling. Two more breaths. And release the heels, release the body forward fold. We're gonna take a final stretch. We're opening up to a wide legged forward fold. I'm just gonna turn to face you. So opening your legs up wide, just release your body. And again, try not to fidget. 
Just allow yourself to hang. And from here, let's take a plie bending through both knees and stretch. And again, plie and stretch. And last one, plie, roll up through your spine. Standing nice and tall. We're gonna step the feet in right under your hips. Coming back to that same meditation that we started with. So shining your palms forward, closing your eyes. Feel tall through the spine. Just take a moment to reflect on how your practice has changed your body. Notice any sensations that you feel. How does your connection to the earth feel now in comparison to the start of class? Again, revisit that image of the roots going from your feet, that bright red energy coming up from the floor into your body. Again, repeating your affirmation for five breaths, I am safe, I am secure. And when you finish your last breath, bringing your hands together in front of your heart, bending forward, namaste. With your eyes blinking open, thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I hope you really feel grounded and secure and stable in your body. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. I release new videos every single Friday, and hopefully I will see you on the mat again very soon. Bye.